Hey, is that folk music that you play there? What is that? How do you call that folk music? <laughs> I think it was Studs Terkel who asked Big Bill Brunzi, did he consider his blues music to be folk music? And Big Bill says, well, uh, never heard no horse. <laughs> Horses sing none of it. My name is Ralph Litwin, and our guest today is Dave Cornell. Welcome, Dave. Thank you. Nice to have you on the show. Dave, I'm delighted to be here. I've admired your show and your efforts for a long time. I'm flattered to be here. Well, I've admired your music from of many years, too. I've admired your music of many years, also. <laughs> <laughs> We're a mutual <laughs> admiration society. That's the way it should be. Uh, 
Dave is a regular at the Folk Project, and he's been regaling us with these health fellow well-met type of tunes ever since I can remember. It's like the last one to sort of ingratiate myself with your average folk music audience, <laughs> yes. So Dave, how did you get interested in the concertina? Well, I wanted an instrument to play, and I noticed most people play guitars, but it's just too vicious and brutal an instrument. People are beating on it, and people plucking the strings and hammering on. <laughs> so I wanted something just gentler. <laughs> Actually, about 12 years ago, I joined a folk a, uh, sailing club called Seas, if anybody's interested. And I went on a trip down the Caribbean for a week, and I thought, gee, it would be nice to have a portable instrument. And uh, when I was in my college years, I'd been very interested in folk music. Then as it got political and one thing and another, I sort of lost interest in it. I like the traditional tunes. I like music that brings people together, easily accessible music. And I had a concert, an old concertina I picked up on a trip in England, never done much with. It was in the back of a closet. And it's like everything came together. You know, I took the concertina out, learned a few sea shanties, uh, found I really enjoyed playing it, found that other people seemed to p liked, be willing to, if not like, putting up with me <laughs> on it. Uh, and then I discovered a couple of wonderful organizations, one of which is the Folk, Organ the Folk Project in New Jersey that we both belong to, and, uh, and, and some concertina groups in England. So I went over to England and to uh, find out a little bit more about the concertina, learn some sea shanties, and it got me back into folk music uh, from, from the traditional side. A lot of the uh, political aspects of it seem to have faded away from certain, certain worlds, including the concertina world in England, and the folk project with its very eclectic approach to music. So and one thing just sort of led to another, and I've been having a great deal of fun with it, and it got me back into folk music again after a hiatus of about 20 years. Well, we're glad it did. <laughs> well, thank you. Thanks so much. So give us another uh, number, Well, um, if you would. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can twist your arm. Well, since, since we're here. <laughs> you know, you know, I've noticed, you know, since I've known you, you know, you've got a lot of this distinguished gray in your beard. Um, have you uh, noticed that people take you a lot more seriously now? No, they don't. No, I'm, I, I mean, <laughs> I've, I've noticed that too. They don't take me seriously either. But what, uh, what I have noticed is that uh, shoveling snow is no longer really healthy exercise. It's a prelude to a coronary. <laughs> and, that, and that is, when you approach 60 and beyond, um, we get sort of phototropic, you know, that we sort of like veer towards the sun. <laughs> so we have a lot of friends who are down in the sun belt, and uh, we're, look, we're sort of half down there ourselves these days. And uh, that's, that's led to some songs about various cities. And I hope people, I hope you'll join in. Anybody here will, will, will join in on this. We'll do our best. Okay, please. I'll admit I'm a feeling old, trying to get out of the cold, trying to look for a reprieve from winter snows and autumn leaves, so you won't find me where you found me. I'm gonna have some space around me. I'm gonna spend all my tomorrows with the gobbies and saguaros. Tucson is where I've gone. Not Saskatchewan, <laughs> not the Amazon, not Babylon, not Oregon. I crossed the Rubicon. I've gone to Tucson. Where I'll sit in the sun with the snakes and lizards No more fear of snow and blizzards Growing old's gonna take some practice I got to learn not to sit on a cactus Tucson is where I've gone Not Saskatchewan Not the Amazon Not Babylon Not Oregon I crossed the Rubicon I've gone to Tucson where woodpeckers wake you at five o'clock Sometimes a scorpion crawls in your sock There's a rattlesnake under those rocks And killer bees fly round in flocks But I look at the desert and I see that It's a beautiful habitat A peaceable kingdom that God begat But I think a coyote just ate the cat Tucson is where I've gone Not Saskatchewan Not the Amazon Not Babylon not Oregon, I crossed the Rubicon, I've gone to Tucson. Go in a restaurant when you're famished, order with your high school Spanish. If hours later you're not fed, might be something that you said. <laughs> well, 
Our new house is so southwestern, all decked out to look equestrian. Our native pots could not be finer, but most of them are made in China. When winter weather has you crabby, stuck indoors and turning flabby, I'll be outdoors in Arizona, getting fit at melanoma Tucson. Is where I've gone, not Saskatchewan, not the Amazon, not Babylon, not Oregon. I crossed the Rubicon, I've gone to Tucson. When you come out here to see us, we'll have nachos and fajitas. Wash them down with margaritas, walk them off in the Santa Rita, out where the mountains never cease. That's where I'll find inner peace, and I won't miss Jersey in the least, cause all of my neighbors are from back east. Tucson is where I've gone, not Saskatchewan, not the Amazon, not Babylon. Not Oregon, I crossed the Rubicon, I've gone to Tucson, I'd be a moron to abandon Tucson. Thank you. Now I'm going to show my ignorance. What is Rubicon? Uh, I don't know, but it's a phrase that keeps coming back. <laughs> <laughs> Big river that you get across, and then you can't turn back. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> you didn't tell me you're going to ask that. that was <laughs> well, I didn't uh, know the word in the song, so I figured I'd ask it. <laughs> okay. We could tell folks how to get in touch with you in case they want to find out where else to see you, other than by turning on their TV. Okay. And that email address magically appearing on your screen is, which I can't read from here. It's D-A-V-C-O-R-N-E-L-L, -L, no E at AOL.com. And if you'd like to know more about duet concertinas, there's a wonderful website called McCannDuet.com, M-A-C-C-A-N-N. -N. And you can probably find it through Google, run by a fellow named Bob Gaskins, who's done a marvelous job of putting on information about McCann Duet Concertinas, which I'm sure is a major interest of many of your people here. <laughs> <laughs> Did you want to uh, tell us about your other concertinas there? Well, this is um, just an example. These, these, they, they all came in various sizes. This is a 67 key instrument, as is this one here. This one is, everybody, people always come with two guitars to, at the Folk Project. So I figured, well, I should have two concertinas, right? Because it shows not an inferior instrument, and I'm not a less serious person for only having one, one instrument. So these are actually the same size. These, these concertinas run from 80 keys down to this little miniature here, which is actually a bit of a novelty, practical limits, about 39 or 40, key, 40 buttons. These were all built around the 1920s. And they were played mostly in music halls and by Salvation Army groups. And these were the last of the concertinas, the last type of concertina developed in England. There's the original English concertina, which you'll see a lot of. It played with little sum straps. And the Anglo concertina, which is a different note on push and pulls. You see in Irish groups and Morris dance groups. And then these, which are the least played for some strange reason. They're really lovely instruments. Would you like to Did try I, one? No, <laughs> I, I have no facility for the concertina. Do they, it's a very gentle instrument. Do they <laughs> give you the same note when you're pushing or pulling? These, these do, yeah. Very nice. I like thank the way you. you accompany your singing. Well, thank it's, you. Thank you very much. Just that was one of the things I, uh, I, I love the way the concertina worked with the voice. And it's sustained so you can play harmony with yourself or you can play rhythm or you can try to play a lot of things. Can we get you to do another number? Okay. <laughs> Actually, I'd like to do a, a song by a friend of mine named Jan Christensen. And Jan can be found at a lot of maritime music events, playing a big 12-string guitar. He's uh, got a wonderful repertory of maritime music, a particular interest in, uh, in maritime music. He's written some lovely songs uh, centering around the water. And this was one he wrote back around the time of the Mariel Boat Lift that I'm, it's become a bit of a standard among a lot of people who like maritime music. Oh, 
My name is Juan, and I come to this country on a boat left from Maria Bay. As I walk around the streets of the city, I hear people say, Oh, they all look funny, and they don't speak English, and they're taking our jobs away. Then from out of the past, I heard voices that came from an island in New York Bay, Ellis Island. Come down the gangplank, go through the door, stand in the long, long line. Do you have TB or a social disease? Do your hands and your legs work fine? Do you have a relative there on the shore who can vouch for your sanity? And if you make it through the day, they'll stamp your card and say, Welcome to the land of the free. Oh, my name is Pat, and I come from Killarney, where I work with both my hands. But the crops, they failed, and the agent came and threw me off the land. So I crossed the sea with a pack on my back, and I hope they let me stay. The old world is gone, I see a new dawn from this island in New York Bay, Ellis Island. Come down the gangplank, go through the door, stand in the long, long line. Do you have TB or a social disease? Do your hands and your legs work fine? Do you have a relative there on the shore who can vouch for your sanity? And if you make it through the day, they'll stamp your card and say, Welcome to the land of the free. Oh, my name is Rivka, and I come from Russia, where I never knew luxury. And the Cossacks came with their swords and guns and killed all my family. So I came here where people don't live in fear, and I'll work in your sweatshops all day. Though I'm tattered and torn, I see dreams being born from this island in New York Bay, Ellis Island. Come down the gangplank, go through the door, stand in the long, long line. Do you have TB or a social disease? Do your hands and your legs work fine? Do you have a relative there on the shore who can vouch for your sanity? And if you make it through the day, they'll stamp your card and say, Welcome to the land of the free. Oh, my name is Guido, and I come from Palermo, where I lay the bricks all day. But I had a dream that was bigger than Palermo, that's why I sailed away. So I'll climb your buildings, and I'll build your subways, and I'll save all my pay. So next year my wife and family can come to this island in New York Bay, Ellis Island. Come down the gangplank, go through the door, stand in the long, long line. Do you have TB or a social disease? Do your hands and your legs work fine? Do you have a relative there on the shore who can vouch for your sanity? And if you make it through the day, they'll stamp your card and say, Welcome to the land of the free. We are the ghosts of Ellis Island. We have our tales to tell. Some left a good life to come over here. Some left a living hell. But we crossed the sea and we built this land as you will in your very own way. And to you who have come, we say welcome home from this island in New York Bay, Ellis Island. Come down the gangplank, go through the door, stand in the long, long line. Do you have TB or a social disease? Do your hands and your legs work fine? Do you have a relative there on the shore who can vouch for your sanity? And if you make it through the day, they'll stamp your card and say, Welcome to the land of the free. If you make it through the day, they'll stamp your card and say, Welcome to the land of the free.
Very nice. I think, I think it's a lovely song, yeah. The author's name again? Uh, Jan Christensen. And you can find him at J. Bilgerat on AOL. <laughs> <laughs> He has a lot of lovely, lovely music. And he's lovely yeah, Bill Drat is his email address. His email address, yes. <laughs> and he has a lot of lovely songs. You can hear them down at the South Street Seaport for people around New York. Great. When, when you first got interested in music as a kid? Oh, yes. I think, uh, I think, I think we're all intrinsically interested in music uh, everywhere universally, I think. What? Uh, was there a particular thing that got you that you remember getting you interested? No, there was just there was a piano at home. I can remember sort of playing around with it a little bit uh, before I even took lessons. Then my mother sent me off to take piano lessons, and everybody told me I would regret it if I didn't practice, and they were right. <laughs> <laughs> but I've always I've always liked music, and then uh, I grew up in, in the San Francisco area, so there was a chance to hear symphony and opera and uh, folk music, and liked all of it. Good. How about another? Um, okay, will you, you enjoy me on, on something? Sure, we have about six and a half minutes. Well, that would be time for, um, I could do another, another city, so another south, south, sunny, south land city song about okay. growing up. Okay. I'm game. Pardon me? I'm game. Okay. Every creature in its turn, whether pachyderm or worm, plays the part as programmed in its genes. And like the lemming and the swallow, there's a script that we will follow, though we may not like our part in all the scenes. Though we may not like the plot, and kid ourselves we're not, only playing a part that's been pre-planned. But when the time is right, we'll find we're on the flight that takes us to the promised land. On the outskirts of Orlando, where the zoning is unplanned, oh, in that promised land, that's where we'll be. And though we may not recognize husbands, friends, or wives, we'll all be there together, wait and see. We'll have no regret after we forget everything since we were 33. Decrepit and myopic, phototropic for the tropics, and we'll all be there together, wait and see. In a lawn chair by my trailer, you'll find me without failure when that final trumpet calls me home. And I won't have a care, cause I'm only somewhat there in a low rent former orange grove of my own. It's where I'll have so much fun, basking in the sun, talking back to the portable TV. And you would be unkind if you were to remind me I need to install the batteries on the outskirts of Orlando where the zoning is unplanned. Oh, in that promised land, that's where we'll be. And though we may not recognize husbands, friends, or wives, We'll all be there together, wait and see. Decrepit and myopic, phototropic for the tropics, and we'll all be there together, wait and see. Every day begins anew with an introduction to the people that we met the day before. Everybody looks the same, so I can't remember names, but it really doesn't matter anymore. Now you may cry or laugh, but it's down a well-worn path. We all will march together, you and me. And as we start our final romp through the steamy mangrove swamp, let's be glad we've had the opportunity. On the outskirts of Orlando, where the zoning is unplanned, oh, in that promised land, that's where we'll be. And though we may not recognize husbands, friends, or wives, we'll all be there together, wait and see. Though we'll have no regret after we forget everything since we were 33. 
decrepit and myopic, phototropic for the tropics, and we'll all be there together, wait and see. I'll have my final house nearby Mickey Mouse, and we'll all be there together, wait and see. Very nice. Thanks for joining us. Well, thank you so much for having me. I'm glad I finally talked you into this. So am I. So am I. <laughs> so let's take it out with this little number about... This little number? Got an old acoustic guitar, got a mandolin as well. And down there in the basement got CDs I gotta sell. I wanna be a folk singer. I'm gonna be a folk singer. You want to buy my CD? Thank you, Mom. Only four strings on my guitar. It's all I can afford. It's more than I require. I only play three chords. I want to be a folk singer. I don't want to play jazz. You want to buy my CD? Thank you, Mom. You take one, please. Living with my parents, room and board for free, till I get discovered. You know, I'm only 53. It's never too late. You just gotta wait patiently. Is that Ralph Litwick calling me? Oh. I'm against big business, politically correct. Got a social conscience, all the things that you'd expect to be a folk singer. Gotta lean to the left. But don't misunderstand, I'll take the check. I'll sing about my troubles, I'll share my misery. How mother flushed my guppy when I was only three. Childhood trauma, not my fault. Another seedy, guilty mom. Let's do this again. I went down to the folk club, I got a chance to sing. I stepped out on the stage and I could not think of a thing. My mind went blank, makes me sad. Now I gotta get a job, thank you, Dad. But down there in the basement, still got all those CDs. One day they'll be discovered, that's my fondest fantasy. Gonna be discovered, wait and see. I'm gonna be discovered virtually. 